like to introduce you to the new CAT door lock coupler that's available for backhoe loaders and mini excavators. When you first get this coupler to remove the bucket, it's important that you put the linkage into such a position that's make it very efficient and very easy to get the work tool off. So the first thing I'm going to do is spin around and place the boom and stick in such a position that it makes it easy to remove. Now you leave the bucket just off the ground and you leave it in such a position that you can get to the safety latch as well as the wedge in one movement without having to get in and out of the machine. The first thing you're going to do is to come in from the front and release the wedge bringing it all the way up to the top. Now you come in from the front and not from any other direction because the front gives you the most space and the most efficient way of bringing that wedge all the way up to the top. It takes about 30 seconds to screw that wedge all the way up, releasing the rear pin. Once the wedge is all the way up, you'll unleash your safety with the open end of your wrench by just putting your wrench on and pulling forward. It's the only time you'll have to touch that safety when you go back up into your next work tool, that safety will automatically latch. Once you're back into the machine, all you have to do is roll out of your bucket or your work tool. And you're clear of your work tool and you can swing over and put your next tool on. Now with our previous coupler, you used to have to reach out and try and hook your bucket or your work tool. This was sometimes a little bit difficult to do, especially if it's something like an auger. With the new door lock, you basically rotate the coupler all the way back, come down on top of your bucket or your work tool until you hear that snap. Once you hear that snap, you know that the bucket is secure onto the machine and cannot fall out. It's one of the reasons that makes it the safest coupler on the market is that you can put, pick up buckets and work tools from the ground place them onto your trailer safely without them falling off your machine. So if you were picking up tools, you just pick them up, swing them to your trailer, and your ground worker would unleash that safety and leave the tool on the trailer. Now if you want to pin the bucket back on the machine, you just curl back around, and then put the bucket back into a position again that's easy to get to to wind the wedge back down. Once again, just leave it slightly up off the ground, You'll take your combination wrench, 22 mil or three quarter on the backo size coupler, and just tighten that wedge back down onto the rear pin. The safety's already locked, locked on as you saw, so you just bring the wedge back down about another 30 seconds to lock that down. That wedge stays very tight on the back of the pin that keeps your work tool nice and tight, takes all the wear out of it. and just lock down onto it. Okay, so that's the wedge, nice and tight onto the back pin there, keeping the tool nice and tight while you're working. Now we use the standard combination wrench. If you do happen to lose this wrench, you will have other standard tools in your toolbox that could be used for releasing your work tool or your bucket. What you haven't lost though, is your safety latch. That is permanently onto the coupler and that helps make it one of the safest couplers on the market.